Good afternoon, all. I hope all of you are fine. See and your hope. Senior class, we already discussed about extra now. Okay? Extra now is very important when you keep them in your exam. So, don't ever keep that. Okay? So, today we discuss two topics that are punctuation mark and one word substitution. Punctuation mark. They are a 40 punctuation mark in English class. Today we learn only three punctuation marks that are full stop, capital letter and comma. Okay? Full stop, capital letter and comma. Look at this board. It is full stop. So the full stop, when the full stop is used, when the sentence is complete. Full stop is used when the sentence is complete. In other way, full stop is used at the end of the sentence. Please, do you understand? A full stop is used when the sentence is complete. Okay. Let, uh, look at this board. My brother enjoyed playing football. Okay. Here is one sentence. First one, my brother enjoy playing football. So the sentence is completed. The sentence is completed. So at the end of sentence, you should be put a full stop. The full stop is identified. The sentence will complete. Okay. The next one, holy is festival of color. What is another sentence? Holy is Picture of color. Okay, so the sentence is complete. When the sentence is completed, you should be full stop at the you should be put a full stop at the end of sentence. Okay, the next one we are going to church every Sunday. Okay, this is the another sentence. So the sentence is completed. We go to the church every Sunday. So the sentence is completed. So you should be put a full stop at the end of the sentence. The full stop is identified. The sentence was complete. Last one. She goes to town in May. She goes to town in May. The sentence was completed. So, you should be put a full stop at the end of sentence. Okay, so the full stop, we use the full stop when the sentence was sentence is completed. Okay, the full stop is used when the sentence is completed. Did you understand? I repeat again. Full stop is used when the sentence is completed. Then the next one, capital letters. Next one, capital letters. There are uh, four rules in capital letters. In first one, always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. What is that? Always capitalize the first letter in a sentence. Okay, for example, they are my friends. They are my friends. So, we should be capitalized the first letter in capital. Next one. Next rule. Always capitalize name and proper noun. So, what is proper noun? Proper noun is a special, a special things in each they are pointing somebody to something. So, the second rule is always capitalize names and proper noun. Okay, you understand? The first rule is always capitalize the first letter in the sentence. Okay, the next one always capitalize names and proper 
nouns. For example, we visited Paris last year. Here Paris is proper noun. So you should be capitalize the first letter in the Paris. Okay. The next, uh, the next one. Always capitalize days, months, and holidays. Okay. The next rule is always capitalize days, months, and holidays. For example, he went to the library on Tuesday. Here, Tuesday is a special day. So, you should be, you must be capitalize the first letter in the word. Okay? What is that? Always capitalize day, month and whole day. For example, I love when it, is, when it snows in January. Here, January is a particular month. So, when we use January in first letter, you should be capitalized. The last rule, always capitalize titles like Dr. Miss, Mrs. Okay? Always capitalize titles like Dr. Miss and Mrs. For example, last Friday, I went to Dr. Johnny's for a checkup. Here, Dr. John. Okay, the first letter we should be capitalized. Okay, I repeat once again. Capital letter. The first one always capitalize first letter in the sentence. Always capitalize first letter in the sentence. The next rule, always capitalized, always capitalized name and proper nouns. Okay. The third one, always capitalized days, month and whole days. The last rule, always capitalized titles like Dr. Miss and Mrs. Okay. Did you understand? The next one, a comma. Use commas in a series of three or more. Okay. The first rule is use commas in a series of three or more. Look at this example. I need to buy egg, comma, milk, comma, bread and Fruit. Before the and, we do not use comma. Okay, here uh, one or one or three uh, series have. So, so comma in a series of three or more. Okay, that's the first rule. Okay, what is the first rule in comma? Yes, exactly like comma in a series of use comma in a series of three or more. Okay. The next rule, use comma to separate two or more adjectives. What is the second rule? Yes, use comma to separate, to separate two or more adjectives. Okay, do you understand? Use comma to separate two or more adjectives. For example, Johnny is a smart, comma, kind boy. Johnny is a smart, comma, kind boy. What is our first rule in comma? Yes, use comma in the series of three or more. What is the second rule in comma? Use comma to separate two or more adjectives. The third rule, use comma after introductory words. Use comma after introductory words. It's like yes, no, wow, 
hey well now it goes that are the introductory words what is the fourth fourth rule use comma after introductory words like yes no wow hey well now of course for example wow we won the match what is an example wow comma we won the match in the next example yes comma i want to join the army what is the second example yes comma yes is the introductory word yes is the introductory word so yes comma when we use yes a word yes yes comma i want to join the army okay the next rule use comma between the name of the city and the state what is the last rule use comma between the name of the city and the state i repeat again comma rules first one use comma in series of three or more use comma in series of three or more and next one use comma to separate two <coughs> or more adjectives okay what is the second rule yes use comma to separate two or more adjectives the next one use comma use comma after after introductory words so what are the introductory words yes exactly like the introductory words are yes no wow hey and well now of course that are the introductory words okay so the th third rule is use comma after introductory words the last rule use comma between the name of the city and state for example i was born in munnar comma kerala okay do you understand what is the basic rules of comma okay i repeat once again the capital letter always always capitalize the first letter in a sentence always capitalize name and the proper proper noun and the third rule is always capitalize the day month and holidays and the last one always capitalize titles like doctor miss mrs and uh, comma and the comma basic four rules are use comma in series of a three or more and second one use comma to separate two or more adjectives and the third rule is use comma after introductory words introduction introductory words like yes no wow they well now of course and the last one use comma between use comma between the name of a city and the state okay. did you understand okay let us watch one video clip for you comma in sentences the comma is an internal punctuation mark it tells the reader when to pause It adds clarity to a sentence. Remember the following rules for using the comma. Rule 1. Use a comma between the day of the week and the month date. For example, I will be there on Monday. December 
rule 2 use commas to separate two or more adjectives that describe a noun using similar qualities for example woofy is a thin hungry dog rule 3 Use a comma between the name of the city and the state. For example, I was born in Munnar, Kerala. Rule 4. Use a comma after introductory words like yes, no, wow, hey, well, now and so on. For example, Wow! We won the match. Rule 5 Use a comma to separate the name of a person in a direct address. For example, I want to tell you, Roma, that you did a good job. One word substitution. Uh, next topic is one word substitution. Okay. One word substitution is the integral. One word substitution is one of the integral part of vocabulary. One, one word substitution is one of the integral part of vocabulary. It simply means that a sentence has to be replaced with a single word. Okay, one word substitution is the integral part of vocabulary. It simply means a sentence has to be replaced with a single word. Okay, uh, which means a sentence, which means a sentence or conversation impressive short and meaningful okay let us read once again one more substitution is one of the integral part of vocabulary it simply means that a sentence has to be replaced with a single word okay look at this example the home of birds the home of a bird. The home of bird. Okay. Now, which word? Now, which word can be used to reply? Yes, exactly right. That is next. Okay. The home of bird. Okay. Which word can be used to reply? Yes, next. The next one. A container in which which fishes are kept. Okay, the answer is exclusion. The next one, a place where books are kept. It is called library. The fourth one, a person who flies aeroplane is called pilot. And the fourth one, a play a person who runs Policy is called poet. Okay, do you understand? I repeat again and again one more substitution is the integral part of vocabulary. Okay, it is simply mean a sentence has to be replaced with a single word. Okay, for example, a person who drives deliver message. A person who deliver message. So it's called messenger. The sixth one, a, sorry, the seventh one, a person who mend shoes. Okay, a person who mend shoes. Which word we can reply? Yes, is it? Cobbler. The eighth one, unable to see. Unable to see. It's called invisible. Which word, which word 
can be used to reply yes invisible the word is invisible the ninth word a person who stitches your clothes is called tailor the last one a doctor who treats mental illness is called psychiatrist okay one word substitution is very important in one of your exam so one uh, one word substitution is simply means a sentence has to be replaced with a, a single word okay do you understand so one of your take a page number or book there is one an activity for you match the meaning in column a with the word in column b the first word to keep a close eye on cheating or some word element which is the answer yes the answer is watchman answer is watchman okay the next one to move on hands knees with the body closer to ground yes it is parallel the third one a flash sleeping animal that the answer is fourth one a person who cannot read or write is called illiterate and fifth one a thing that is fit to the eater that is a bird the last one one who works for free one who work for a free it is volunteer okay do you understand so one word substitution don't ever skip it what is the spelling of one word substitution o a e one word w o r d substitution a u b l t i t u t i o n one word substitution which means it simply means that a sentence has to be replaced with a single word okay so um, i think all of you understood this for uh, this one then see you in the next class